Arsenal EMV. We've been taking orders for several months now and are currently in production. In fact, the truck behind me rolled off our assembly line just earlier this month. Although we know electric vehicles are a part of our future, we also know that this will be one of the biggest technology changes that the trucking industry will have seen in decades. And with every new technology, it will evolve and grow and change as it matures. For that reason, International's taken a very pragmatic approach to our design process. We believe that the best fit for the current state of technology are customers with designated routes. So we focused our attention on dry van, P&D, and service applications, where we think we can find the best sweet spot between range and payload, and really optimize for those customers. The new EMV is built on a solid foundation of our diesel MV product, which provides great visibility, maneuverability, as well as a quiet and comfortable cab. We then took that strong foundation and married it with the high voltage system from our electric school bus. This practical approach provides both synergy but also nimbleness so that we can adapt and, and provide enhancements more quickly. The new EMV provides best in class performance with an integrated digital instrument cluster specifically designed for our electric vehicles. We offer three levels of regenerative braking 30, 60, and 100% with one pedal style driving capability. Our vehicles have both AC and DC charging with DC capability in just under two hours. In addition, all of our electric vehicles come with on-command connection, our telematic solution, so that we have eyes on the health of your vehicle at all times to provide the best customer experience possible. But we know that zero emission vehicles are not a one size fits all. We're constantly listening to our customers, trying to understand their needs and pain points, and then adapting our process to that. And what we've heard is that the vehicle may actually be the simplest part of the EV equation. What I refer to as the ecosystem, everything that surrounds the truck, the grant writing, infrastructure, charging, battery second life, or what we're hearing are the more complicated things for our customers. For that reason, we have our next e-mobility team, these are our technical experts based outside of Detroit who provide consultative services to all of our customers to help them through the maze of factors they need to consider now as they purchase an electric vehicle. With me here today is Jason Gies, Vice President of our e-mobility business development. He's going to share more of what the next team brings to the table for our customers as well as some exciting things we have planned for next year. Jason? Thank you, Debbie. <clears throat> We are excited to be here today. So, as Debbie said, we're extremely proud of the EMV that stands behind me. But the ecosystem is as important as the vehicle itself. And our team brings those solutions to you. We have our five C's approach, which you can see graphically behind me. Our five C's are fairly simple, but we want to be here to bring, them to our, bring you, our customer, through the entire process. So I'll walk through them quickly. First, we have consulting. Well, how do we consult? We consult through grant writing, also route profile and analysis for our customers, and we also have fleet analysis tool. As Debbie mentioned, it's not a one size fits all. So we wanna make sure our customers are successful in the entire life cycle of these vehicles. We don't want to set our customers up for failure. Our second C is charging. On the charging side, we provide cradle to grave charging solutions making sure our customers have right-sized charging solutions as they enter the, this new electrification journey. Our third, C, consult, our, our third C is constructing. We are building our vehicles and our plants. As, as Debbie mentioned, this was one of our very first builds out of our Escobedo facility. We are excited to grow through that facility and into our new facility, San Antonio, as it comes online early next year. We're proud to, we're proud, uh, to talk about, uh, our CEO made a comment a couple of months ago that the first vehicle coming off that line will be electrified. We will grow and lead in electrification as Navistar International and our IC bus brands. Our fourth C is connectivity. Every electric vehicle we sell will have connectivity in it. We will be able to monitor the state of health of the vehicle, driver performance, driver behavior, 
if the vehicle's charging, how it's charging, making sure that our vehicles have the uptime that our customers are used to with our diesel products. Our fifth C is uh, conserving. On the conservation side, we have pieces in place today for both battery remanufacturing, recycling, and second life. So anything from repairing the battery and putting them back into vehicles to stationary power applications and then end of life solutions many years down the road, being able to put those uh, vehicle or those batteries into a recycling type of situation.